What's going on, y'all? Y'all know what time it is. It's live for 45 at 6 a m. Get on up, y'all. It's time to rock and roll. It's time to really get up and get active this morning at 6 a m. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. Man, y'all, we're going to be getting right into it following our topic uh, this morning. Uh, we're going to have a short topic, but go get your water and come right on back to your spot so we can get into it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's time to rock and roll. It's time to rock and roll. This morning at 6 a m. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Y'all got y'all water. Hope y'all got it. Kim, I hope you ready. How you doing? Everybody that normally join, we've got some newcomers, great job. We about to rock and roll with our recovery on this Thursday. And you know what recovery, you want to make sure you get a good stretch in. And whenever you're doing your stretches, you want to make sure you focus on your um, flexibility, your stability, your mobility, and your balance. The four key areas that you need to focus on whenever you're doing any type of stretch routine, all right? So we're gonna give it about another minute and we're gonna be right into the topic, y'all. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> let's do it. All right, y'all, hope y'all ready. Cause I'm ready to rock and roll. All right, y'all, so first thing we're gonna get into is our topic. Um, this week has been about our whole heart, y'all. So loving God, seeking God, and really praying to God and giving everything to God. That's maybe a uh, mental breaker or a setback or a roadblock or a just a challenge in general, giving it all to God with our whole heart. Not selfish, not halfway giving it to him, but with our whole heart. So um, if there is anything that you are battling with, make sure you give it to God with your, and seek God's help with your whole heart, not a portion of it. Because once you do that, once you give it with your whole heart and you seek God with your whole heart, um, you will start to experience the blessings um, that you um, have been probably waiting on for so long, okay? Uh, giving everything to God and seeking God with your whole heart allows you to avoid, reduce, and eliminate the enemy from your path because you're going to be walking more in the um, righteous path or God's path that he has laid out for you in Jesus' name. All right. So whatever you do um, today, this week and every day, make sure you seek and give everything to God with your whole heart, y'all, because when you're devoted to God, God is going to be devoted to you and he's going to be blessing you um, on his time in Jesus name. So <clears throat> give your prayers and give your challenges to God, but don't go away from the doorstep, just trying to do everything on your own after you've turned to God. Because if you don't uh, give everything to God wholeheartedly, it's almost like you are uh, abandoning God uh, without doing it purposefully. Uh, the enemy has many tricks up his sleeve and can get you to fall victim to doing those things if you are not careful. So make sure you keep God in your path every single second, every single moment 
as it relates to your lifestyle so that you can continue receiving the blessings that you definitely deserve. All right. All right. So as y'all know, SPARK stands for Smiles, Pride, Patience, Attitude, Accountability, Respect, and Knowledge. And when you have your SPARK, it has to be protected with a strong faith in God in Jesus' name. All right. So we're going to get into the stretch, y'all. We'll get a, a prayer for you. God, thank you so much for allowing the viewer to join Life of 45 this morning. Allow them to uh, be more devoted to you, to seek you, to seek all of you with their whole heart, God, if they haven't done so already. Um, I pray that um, you protect them in Jesus' name to do what it is that they can do in this exercise and this workout and to allow them to experience the progressions, not only from a health perspective, God, but from a spiritual perspective, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, y'all, let's get into the uh, workout right now. Um, so you're gonna have your feet slightly wider than your shoulders. Again, this is recovery, okay? You're gonna go into an inhale, inhale. Breathe through your nose, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. In your nose, inhale. And purse your lips and breathe out your mouth, exhale. Slowly start coming down. Arms between your legs, forearms is pushing your knees out. And slowly come down, straighten out the legs, chin to the chest, roll up. One more time, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, slowly come down, same thing, same thing, forearms touching the knees, pushing those legs out, make sure your chest is up. Bring it down, chin to the chest, roll up, and inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, bring it down, slowly again, you should feel your hips warming up. <clears throat> Get into a prayer motion here. Push the elbows against the knees. You should be able to go a little deeper into your stretch now, especially from this position. Squat a little lower. Hold it, hold it. Make sure you're breathing. And palms to the ground, chin to the chest. Roll up. Roll up and inhale and exhale. All right, you're gonna bring your feet together. <clears throat> now we're gonna go to an inhale, go into a flat back position. Flat back position, go all the way down and let your body hang. Let your body hang right here. Grab the back of your leg and pull your chest in. Try not to slam your head down to the ground or towards your foot. You want your chest to be the lead. So if you can pull your chest down closer to your feet or your quads, pick one of those pointers and pull yourself in. And that will allow your head to stay neutral spine or in line with your back. Don't want your body out of alignment. All right, release your legs, chin to the chest, roll up, roll up. Inhale, bring it back down again. Exhale, take it into a flat back, hands behind your legs, pull yourself in. 
You got this. Chin. Hold it. Make sure your back is in line with your head. Go down further if you can. Release it. Come back up. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it down. Flat back position. Go behind your legs. Pull yourself in. Keep your back in line with your head. You don't want to arch your back in this position. I know it can be very easy to try to slam your head into your quads, but you want your chest to lead the stretch. Okay? With the focus on keeping your head in line with your back. And bring it in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right. Now we're going to take our feet slightly wider. Now you're going to take it over. One hand up. You're going to keep this hand flushed up against your leg and slide it down towards your foot. You're going to feel an oblique stretch here. I need you to hold it. When you feel that pull, I need you to stop. Let that top arm relax a little bit. Don't hit yourself in the head. Keep it slightly above your eye level. You should be able to turn your head and your bicep is right there looking at you and you're looking at it. All right. So remember to keep your head forward so that your head stay in line with your back. Don't hold yourself up with this hand. Allow your hand to freely slide down your leg. Three, two, one, inhale. Exhale. Other side now, inhale. Exhale, allow that hand to freely slide down. There we go. You should be able to look up to that bicep and it should be right there. And make sure you look back in front to feel a nice oblique stretch here. Remember to not hold yourself up with that bottom leg. Allow that hand to be free. The bottom hand is free. It's not resisting your stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Two hands. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Allow the bottom hand to be free. Exhale. You are probably able to go a little bit further than you did the first time. Remember though, allow that hand to be free. Do not let the bottom hand resist your stretch. Do not let the bottom hand resist your stretch. Try not to go as far as me. I won't try to go as far as you. We're doing what we can do, not what nobody else can do. Because a little something is better than a whole lot of nothing. Bring it up. Inhale. Exhale. Other side. Inhale. Exhale. Allow that hand to freely navigate its way down. Hold it. Oh, right there.
anytime you feel like it's hurting or anything, you need to come up a little further. You should not feel like it's hurting you. Now you're gonna feel a little discomfort, but you should not feel any sharp pains or like it's hurting, right? Hold it, hold it. In three, two, one, inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. You got it. Exhale. This time you won't go as far as you did before. You're just transitioning and to allow your body to adapt mainly more towards a normal standing position. You don't want to overstretch your muscles, but what you're doing with this top hand, you're just reaching out forward. Don't let your arm relax like this. I need you to reach towards the corner of your ceiling or wherever it is that you're at. I need you to reach obliquely. Still allow your bottom hand to slide freely, just a little bit. In three, two, one, and get up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Bottom hand slides a little bit. Now tighten up your serratus anterior, stretch that arm out towards the corner of that ceiling and your bicep should be right there by your eyes. Keep stretching, keep reaching. Nice oblique stretch here, different variation. Three, two, one, inhale, exhale, good, inhale, exhale, all right, <clears throat> now we're going to get into some shoulder work here, very simple and effective um, stretch routines here, take your hand behind your back. Touch your middle of your back, if you can, or whichever part of your back. And you're gonna grab your elbow with the other hand and pull it, push it down. Allow your head to relax in this slot right here. See how I can freely move my head in this slot? That's what you want. You don't want your chin to your chest too tight. Okay. The moment you feel like your chin is too close to your chest, that means you went too far. Okay, the body is not made to stretch too far. But if you want a little extra flexibility and you can take it, I would say it's slightly okay for your chin to be to your chest as long as you're not uh, restricting any um, breathing or oxygen from yourself in that motion. Three, two, one, inhale, exhale, and the other side, and push it down. Your head wants to naturally go down towards your chest. Try to keep it up. Three, two, one, inhale, exhale, slowly go down, inhale, exhale, more time, above the head, back, shoulder, push.
you can pull it down a little bit further than what you did the first time and get more flexible in that area. Just so that you can see my hand is probably a little further than what it was in the first round. Okay, and three, two, one, inhale, exhale. And other side, remember, push it down further than what you did the first time. You should feel a little discomfort in your shoulder if you're uh, pushing it past the normal point. This is how you get more flexible. You should feel a slight discomfort, but not sharp pain. If you feel sharp pains, I need you to line up in that area until you only feel a slight discomfort. And three, two, one, inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. All right. Bring it over. Arm stretch. Take the arm that's below the arm that's being stretched and make it 90 degrees and hug yourself with the top arm. Okay. And really push your arm back towards you. See my hand here? I'm patting myself on the back. And you should too, for getting up this morning, doing what you can do, not what nobody else can do. Because a little something is better than a whole lot of nothing. All right. Three, two, one, bring it down, inhale. Exhale, slowly let your arms come down. Shake it out, shake it out. You don't want to shock your body anything. You don't want to uh, pull anything. Same thing on this side, arm 90 degrees, push it back towards you, okay? Don't choke yourself. If you feel like your arm are very flexible, then you need to find a different variation. You should probably come lower or you can go higher. But right here, straight across for me, is what is more tight than anything. Uh, but you find the areas that's tight for you. Again, you can go lower and pull it upward. So you can get a shoulder stretch or uh, for when you go lower, you get more of an anterior shoulder stretch. As you come to the front and you're straighter, you get more of an anterior and posterior stretch. When you come above, more mostly like by your face, you get one right there in the area between your armpits and your um, back muscles, okay? Feel it right below the shoulder, but I'm gonna bring mine back straight. Get that posterior stretch. And three, two, one, inhale. Exhale. Remember, let your arm come down slow. When you get to the bottom, you want to shake it out. Shoulders can be very sensitive to certain things because we're moving our shoulders and arms all throughout our day-to-day -day activities, all right? So we're going to do the shoulder stretch two more times. Get over and around. And start walking back and forward, getting ready to go into the more of a balanced portion of the workout. Bring it down and other side. Start getting those legs moving. Mm. 
Remember to hug yourself, pat yourself on the back for doing a great job today. You got this. Down. And we're gonna bring it down. Shake it out, shake it out, remember, slowly. And one more time. Okay. Hug yourself, you should be able to take your hands back a little bit more on your scapula area. Keep breathing, keep stretching. You got this. Feel good. Three, two, one, bring it down. And shake it out, shake it out. Arm across. Go. In three, two, one. Bring it down. Shake it out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Feet are slightly wider than shoulders. Face the right side. And you're going to kind of be in a lunge position. Don't fall over like me. Make sure you're next to a couch. <laughs> All right. And then you're going to kind of bring the hands up. <clears throat> bring the hands up just like this and allow your body to come forward. We're going to stretch it. It doesn't matter how high your feet goes. You know, what matters is that you're balancing yourself and you're picking a spot on the floor to look at. Pick a spot on the floor to focus on. Ideally, if you can get your leg about 90 degrees in line with your back and your head, good job. If you're just balancing and you're not 90 degrees, good job. Because everybody is different. Okay. Keep your legs slightly bent for balance. In three, two, one. Bring it down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Two more times. Let's go. Back up. Back up. Stretch forward, your bottom leg is slightly bent, bringing that leg up as high as you can till it's about 90 degrees. Three, two, one, inhale, exhale. You're starting to sweat a little bit, that's good, inhale. Exhale. Focus, keep your midsection tight. Keep your stomach muscles tight in this position. Legs stay bent. Allow your feet to dig into the ground. You might be shaking right now. Good job. Three, two, one, bring it down, inhale, exhale, turn it to the other side. Same thing, arm up, inhale, exhale. Pick a spot on the floor, pick your favorite spot, focus, focus. Come on, Kim, you got this.
Bring it up, inhale, exhale. Let's go, Cam. Inhale, exhale, slight bend those knees. Try to get the leg about 90 degrees. Lost my balance there because I wasn't focusing on my spot. Three, two, one, inhale, exhale. Continue to breathe one more time. Inhale, exhale. Stretch it out. Probably feeling your core, your lower back, your leg muscles all working here. Especially that bottom foot balancing. Relax, keep breathing. Three, two, one, inhale, exhale, and get down. All right, shake it out. You're working, you're working. You're about to do another effective move here. Something very simple. Uh, we're gonna be bringing our legs up just like this. Okay, you're probably breathing a little hard right now. Take about 30 seconds. <laughs> Take about 30 seconds. Do what you can do. All right. All right, get your water because we're going into it. All right, so we're gonna bring our, starting with our right leg coming up. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, just like this. Down, up, down, up, come on, up. Go at your speed, pick a spot on the wall, focus on balancing. Good. And three, two, one. We're gonna hold it up there now. Come on, Cam. Hold it up there, Cam. Come on. Got it. Anytime you try to lose your balance on one area, on one side, especially the side that has the leg up, you can stretch your arm out just like this to get yourself back grounded and leveled. Okay. All right, good job in three, two, one. Bring it down. I'm gonna switch to the other side now. Leg is up and go. Keep your stomach muscles tight. Three, two, one, hold it up. Just hold it, just hold it. Allowing that heart rate to come down from that one leg balance move. Great job. Three. Two, one, inhale, exhale. This time, hands above the head, inhale, leg comes up and go. Keep going. And it's harder to balance yourself. I understand, but make sure you get your arms straight. Don't let your arms be bent like this. Get those arms straight. Three, two, 
One, hold it up. Try to get your legs right in line or slightly above your hips. Straighten the arms out. Hold it, hold it, keep breathing. Above the hips or slightly in line. Or just balance. Come on, stretch them arms out. Three, two, one, bring it down. Inhale, exhale, other side now. Inhale, exhale, and go. Keep breathing, keep the arms straight, straight above the head. You should feel your fingertips stretching. That's how straight your arm should be. In three, two, one, hold it up. Really straighten those arms out in this position. Keep your stomach muscles tight. Your knee is slightly above or in line with your hip. Three, two, one, bring it down, inhale, exhale, one more time. Inhale, exhale, bring your arm in T motion. Every time you go up, your arm go up and come back down now. See, you're doing this T into straight. Straight, T, straight, T. Here we go in three, two, one, Go. One. Come on. Two. Let's go. Go at your speed now. Get the knees up. Go a little faster. Stretch those arms out. Fingertips are wide. about to get tough here from a balance standpoint. Get ready in three, two, one. Hold that leg up. You're still doing the T position. Up, down, up, down. Keep holding it. Come on. Go as fast as you can in this position. It's gonna improve your balance. If you lose it, that's okay. Bring it back up and keep moving under control. Three, two, one, bring it down. Inhale, exhale. You're probably feeling in the shoulders. Inhale, hold it up, T position, and go. Three, two, one, and go. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and bring it down. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, turn to the side, inhale. Now we're gonna bring it down into a plank position. Plank it out, hold it, find that position. You're gonna walk it up with one leg, other leg is back, and I need you stretching that leg just like this. Other hand is inside. Good, bring it back. We're gonna alternate to the other side. <sighs> Notice how my body is shifting when I bring the leg back. I'm walking my palms to the opposite side. 
So right now my right foot is up. My hands are in the inside of my foot, getting that hip flexor stretch. I'm gonna walk it back. I'm gonna walk my palms over to the right side. Now my left leg comes up. Okay, getting another hip flexor stretch for my right. Hold it for five seconds. And we're gonna switch. And go. You got this. Stretch it out. I'll tell you when to switch. And switch. And switch. Walk it over. Come on. Take your time. This is not a rush. Kim, this is not a rush. Switch. I'm gonna feel your ab working here. Keep your core muscles tight. Obliques are working here. Glutes are working. Quads are working. This is a full body routine. Bring it back. Walk it to the other side. Shoulders are ready for those amazing push-ups that's coming. Here we go, we got 10 seconds. Other side. Here we go. Three, two, one, hold it up there. Push-up position and go down. Up, one, down, up, that's two, down, up, three, down, up, four, down, up, five, down, up, six, down, up, seven, down, up, eight, down, up, nine, down, up and 10. Knees down, taking it to a child's pose. We're about to go back into those push ups, but we're gonna have one of our legs up. Okay, you can do the push ups on your knees if you have to, with one leg up. Okay, and you can do it on your toes with one leg up and down. Okay. Here we go, you choose which one works for you. Here we go, get back into it. Choose the leg to come up, I'm choosing the right. You choose whichever. In three, two, one, we got five. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, and five. Up, bring it down, child's pose. Good to get ready to take it to the other side. Get ready to take it to the other side. This is still balance and stretching. Just like you're doing right now, you're stretching. Working on that core strength at the same time. Here we go. Opposite leg up. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, Five. Bring the feet down. Step it back. Stretch it out. You got this. You got this one more time. You got the one leg moves one more time. All right, bring it back up. We got a total of six. You know we got to work you, right? Six times. Let's go, Kim. Opposite leg up. Three. Two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring it down. Stretch it back. You got it. <laughs> Hope you're doing great, Cam. I know you're doing great. Keep doing what you can do, not what nobody else could do, Cam. Keith, y'all keep doing what you can do, all right? Here we go. Bring it up. Spark community, you got this. Left leg up. Here we go in three, two, one, 
Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bring it down. Hold it up. Hold it up. Walk it out. Taking it to a downward dog position. And just hold it there. Hold it. Keep going. Allow your breathing to get con under control. Push it back on the heels. Start walking your feet in. Chin to the chest. Roll up. Slightly bend at the knees. Roll up. Take your time. All right. Now I need you to face back to the front. Inhale. Exhale. Take it all the way down now. All the way down. Grab your elbows in this position. Allow your body to swing side to side. Swing side to side. Let your body naturally swing side to side. You're leaning forward on your toes. and let your head relax. All right, chin to the chest. Roll up. Roll up. All right, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale and inhale and exhale. Hey y'all, great job joining live for 45 at 6 a.m. on this Thursday. Kim, I know you did amazing. Make sure you get your water. Everybody else that joined, Spark Community, get your water and keep going, y'all. All right, let's do this. Let's rock and roll. Check out the website, our mission and vision. We hope to get your contributions and from that effort and also check out our service page where we are doing Sunday prayer, followed by Tuesdays live for 45. Y'all, we got a lot going on on the website. So just check it out and let us know what you think. If you want to be held more accountable, you can get in touch with me or my amazing wife, Andrea, at on Facebook um, or Instagram. That's Dwight Weathers and Andrea Weathers. And also, you can contact us on our website, www.findyourspark.com. And we will definitely be in touch with you as soon as possible or in the order your uh, contact information come in. All right. Love y'all. And as y'all know, SPARK stands for smiles, pride, patience, attitude, accountability, respect, and knowledge. Hey, we love y'all. Y'all know you cannot maintain a healthy spark without a strong, strong faith in God in Jesus name. All right. Love y'all. Peace.